Hello guys, this is your boy Ansem giving you a, a structure for Light Sworn. Light Sworn is very hard to run and it's very tricky. Just do not be afraid of the deck at all. Most of the cards They make you discard from your deck to the graveyard. And most people get intimidated from this, but I don't. So we're going to go through the cards with you just to, uh, just to give you a rundown of what you should be looking for and how to build your deck around it. Everybody adds their own flair. This is mine. We're going to start off with your Judgment Dragon. This is the heart of the deck. This is the one monster that you need to have. Just because the ultimate goal is to try to get this baby out. You need to have four different light swarms in your graveyard before you can special summon this from your hand. And that's the only way it can be special summoned. The minute you get it special summoned, you can pay 1,000 life points. And you can blow up everything on the field except for itself. So it is very lethal and really fairly easy to get out. You just have to have it in your hand. Next, we're going to move over here to Lumina. This card, I, re I run one copy in my deck because I really don't like her all that much. What she does is when you, when you summon her out, you can throw one card away from your hand to the graveyard. And you can special summon any uh, light sworn from your graveyard straight to the field. Which is good to do if you need some field presence. and. Uh, if you're trying to throw, you know, resurrect something out of the graveyard and throw away another light sworn, so you can have four different types to bring out the Judgment Dragon, which is the ultimate goal. Next, we're going to get to Lydia, which has another nasty effect, and she has a pretty wicked little combo too. Well, all you got to do is uh, when you set her out, attack with her, and then main phase two, what you can do is you uh switch her to defense mode and she destroys any spell or trap on the field so it's pretty useful the only drawback is is that once you set once you use her effect she's in defense mode for a couple turns and on your second standby phase you can change her back to attack mode and uh, and of course when you go back you know you'll see that they make you discard cards from your graveyard like her she'll make you discard three from the top of your deck to your graveyard. She makes you discard three from the top of your deck to your graveyard. Judgment Dragon itself does four cards from the top of your deck to your graveyard. And then we're going to move over here to Raiko. Raiko, just a flip effect monster that lets you destroy any card on the field, which is handy. So I run two copies of him and I run two cards of Olivia. Now we got Wolf. Wolf can only be special summoned. That is it. You cannot normal summon this monster. So it's not it's a cool effect is when it's discarded from your deck to your graveyard, it goes straight to it goes directly to the field. You should really run three three copies of it, but I only run one copy because you know I'm crazy. should run copies of him. Then we got Celestia. <laughs> Pardon me. We got Celestia, who's another light sworn. And what she does is when when you tribute summon another light sworn for her. She can discard any two cards on the field, which is useful, but it's very unlikely you're going to get her out just for how tricky she is. But again, it's just a light sworn monster, extra fodder, high attack, whoopity do, but it's all about effects, and a Yu Gi Oh player will tell you that. Next, we're going to go over to Aaron. 
Aaron drop kicks anything in defense mode on your opponent's side of the field direct to the deck, which is really handy, especially when you got a Spirit Reaper or a Marshmillion or a Galliendo, you know, those dumb stall monsters. So she'll just drop kick them out of the way. Other than that, she just alights one, helping you get the Judgment Dragon out, which is what you really need. Next, we got Garoth. Garoth's a uh, uh, helper, I should say. Um, his effect is if, um, if one of the light swarms on the field make you discard cards from top Eric to your graveyard, he also will do it. He'll discard two and you get to draw a card for every light swarm that you've been discarded. So he's help, high 1850 attack, but this, he serves you better in the graveyard. Now the dragon, the light swarm dragon, he does piercing damage and he also gains 300 attack for every different light swarm, every light swarm in your graveyard. So he's pretty lethal. Again, it's going to be very rare and far between that you actually get him out. If you're fortunate enough to draw a monster reborn or or bring him out some other how. Next, we're going to bring the Guardian of Order. She's not part of your basic Light Sworn deck. She's just something I added in because she helps with any light types. When you have two light types on the field, you could special summon her straight from your hand to the field. So, why not? Light type, let's bring it. Bring two, let's go. Next, Honest. Honest is a must-have card. It works the same as Kalut and your Blackwing series, but Honest is a little more trickier. You can attack with it, you can defend with it, and you can actually treat it as a spirit monster as well. So you can set it out, attack, and then return it back to your hand in your main phase too. What it does is it adds it adds the attack of the monster that you're attacking or being attacked by to your attack of your card so you do the damage of whatever your whatever your monster is so I run through copies of that then we got Jane he gains 300 attack when he's attacking um, but he's a help discarder as well because he discards two cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard so he helps out And then we got Janus. A lot of people don't like Janus. I happen to do because it's a healer and it does burn damage when she's up, when she's face up on the field, either attack or defense mode. Uh, if another light swan monster discards, you know, for its part of its effect, makes you discard cards from the top of your deck to your graveyard, she'll do five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, five hundred uh, life point damage and burn damage, and then five heals you five hundred in life point. So I mean, she's a big help, defensive little wall. And that and four of those light swarms will bring out the Judgment Dragon. Now we're gonna head over to our spells here. And as you could tell, I do not run any traps in this deck because you don't need them. You just don't need them. You could add in a mirror force, but it's gonna be so rare that you even get it that it's not even worth it. You might as well get cards that will actually help you. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna talk about foolish burial. Discard a card from your deck to the graveyard. You're going to typically do that to Wolf. That way you can get some straight to the field. Or you can do it for another monster. You know, another different name, Light Sworn Monster. Could that way, you know, the ultimate goal is to get Judgment Dragon. Heavy Storm, core card. You gotta have it. Destroys all spells and traps on the field. Yeah, it goes without saying. Lightning Vortex. I run three copies. Just because you just destroy the monsters on the other side of the field, um, face up monsters that is, at the cost of one. So I can discard, let's say if I have nothing I could summon or a dead card like Wolf in my hand, I can just use that as a pay cost. And it plays off big. Now you got yourself Monster Reborn. Of course, we don't have it in your deck. You are new! But Monster Reborn, bring back anything from either side of the field. Mystical. Mystical Space Typhoon, of course, that's a core in any deck. Destroy any uh, spell or trap. Now, I want to talk about this because I've been getting a little bit of uh, grief about this. Mystical Space Typhoon is a quick play. However, it does not negate cards. It just doesn't happen. It destroys cards. So if somebody was to play a Heavy Storm, and I try to Mystical that Heavy Storm, Heavy Storm's effect will still go through. It's not going to stop it. All it did was destroy the card. It doesn't destroy effects. It should specifically state, negate the effect and destroy that target. 
And if you read right there, it says target. Once Bell or Trap on the field, destroy that target. It doesn't negate it, just destroys it. Noble Mana, the cross out. This used to be big in Chaos decks back in the day. I still run it because I'm an old timer, so I'm still old school. All it does is remove any face down card on the field, removes it from play. And if it's a flip effect, it destroys all the f all the same monster type. Let's say if you have a man eater bug face down, you you noble man it, it removes that and the two other copies in your deck and just gets rid of them. It also removes it from your deck if you happen to be packing them, so be aware. But I run it because it, it's going to be very rare someone's going to be running Light Swarm with me. Pot of Adverse, I have it just because of how much this deck makes you discard on its own. Pot of Adverse, return 5 monster cards back to your deck, draw 2. So it's like a Pot of Greed plus Retrieval. So with as much discarding as you do, this card is going to help you from keeping yourself from decking out from turn 10. Shield Crush, destroy any defense position monsters in your field. Again, those dumb spot, those dumb stall cards, Spirit Reaper, you know, Marshmallion, people love them. This will get rid of them. Be done with it. Get them out of my hair. Smashing Ground, pretty core card. Everybody should run it. Now we're going to go into Light Sworn Specifics, which is Solar Recharge. Discord, discard one Light Sworn Monster. Draw two cards and discard two cards from the top of your deck to your graveyard. It's great for being a pinch. And then uh, Change of Blart Brigade. Just send three cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard and add any uh, Light Sworn to your, uh, to your hand. Anything that can help you at the time. Alright guys. So this is your basic build. Please keep in mind that I'll be making more videos, so enjoy. If you have any questions, please feel free send me messages. I got people who know people, so we'll get an answer somehow or a way or another. And please subscribe. Thank you guys.